Have you ever pondered why we haven't made contact with any extraterrestrial life yet, despite the vastness of the universe? This question is at the heart of the Fermi Paradox, a conundrum named after physicist Enrico Fermi. He wondered, in a universe that's about 14 billion years old, with an estimated 2 trillion galaxies, each brimming with millions if not billions of stars, why haven't we heard a whisper or caught a glimpse of other intelligent civilizations? The universe is teeming with potential for life, yet we find ourselves in an eerie silence, a cosmic stage devoid of any other players. Our understanding of life, the universe and everything in between is continually evolving. And yet, some enigmatic questions persist, their answers hidden in the cosmic ether. Today, we delve into two intriguing theories that may just provide a glimpse into these cosmic mysteries, the Berserker Hypothesis and the Dark Forest. Imagine a universe filled with self-replicating autonomous machines on a mission to destroy any life form they encounter. A chilling thought, isn't it? This is the essence of the Berserker Hypothesis. This theory, birthed from the inventive mind of science fiction writer Fred Saberhagen in the mid-20th century, presents a possible solution to the Fermi Paradox. For those who may not know, the Fermi Paradox ponders why, with the vastness of the universe and the high probability of extraterrestrial life, we haven't detected any signs of other civilizations. The Berserker Hypothesis offers one answer. Perhaps we're not hearing from other civilizations because they're being systematically wiped out by these autonomous machines, these berserkers. So, let's delve a little deeper into the concept of berserkers. Named after the fierce Norse warriors who were known to enter into uncontrollable, trance-like fury, these machines are self-replicating and autonomous. This means they can make copies of themselves using resources from the planets they conquer. They're like a deadly virus, spreading across the universe, infecting and destroying life wherever they find it. Now, you might be wondering why such machines would exist in the first place. The hypothesis suggests that a highly advanced civilization might have created these machines as a preemptive measure against potential threats from other life forms. The irony, of course, is that these machines could ultimately pose a greater threat not only to other civilizations, but also to their creators. This brings us back to the Fermi Paradox. If the Berserker Hypothesis holds true, then the silence we're experiencing might be the calm before the storm. The universe might be a lot more hostile than we ever imagined, with survival being a precarious game of cosmic hide-and-seek. The Berserker Hypothesis paints a chilling picture of a universe where survival is a game of hide-and-seek. It's a reminder that in the grand theatre of the cosmos, we might be both the audience and the actors, waiting in the wings for our turn to face the unknown. Now envision the universe as a dark forest, where every civilization is a silent hunter. This is the premise of the dark forest theory, a concept that provides a chilling answer to the paradox of why we've never heard from extraterrestrial life. It's like a game of cosmic hide-and-seek, where the stakes are survival and silence is the best strategy. The Dark Forest Theory is predicated on the predator-prey model found in nature. Think about how a hunter stalks its prey in the wilderness. To remain undetected, the hunter must be as quiet as possible. The same principle applies to civilizations in the cosmic forest. They remain silent to avoid attracting attention from potentially hostile entities. But why would civilizations assume others to be hostile? It's a matter of self-preservation. In a universe of unknowns, it's safer to assume any alien civilization could be a threat. This perspective is grounded in the concept of cosmic Darwinism, which suggests that competition for resources and survival might extend beyond our planet, permeating the cosmos. 
It's also important to consider the vastness of the universe and the limitations of our current technology. Any message sent out into the cosmos could take thousands of years to reach its destination. By the time a response comes, the civilization that sent the original message may well have perished. This time delay makes communication, and therefore trust, nearly impossible to establish. Moreover, considering the speed of technological advancement, any civilization capable of receiving and responding to our signals may be far more advanced than us. This technological disparity could make us vulnerable, like a deer stumbling upon a tiger in the forest. So, it's a paradox. The universe is vast, potentially teeming with life, yet we've heard nothing. Could it be that civilizations are out there, quietly listening, careful not to reveal their presence? The Dark Forest Theory suggests so. The Dark Forest Theory suggests that silence is not a sign of emptiness, but a strategic move in a cosmic game of survival. The Berserker Hypothesis and the Dark Forest Theory are both intriguing, but how do they compare? On one hand, we have the Berserker Hypothesis. This theory spins a tale of a universe filled with self-replicating machines or berserkers that destroy life as we know it, all to prevent potential threats. It's a universe where life is a ticking time bomb, waiting for the berserker's arrival. This theory assumes extraterrestrial life is inherently hostile, viewing other life forms as potential competitors or threats. It's a survival of the fittest scenario, painted on a cosmic canvas. On the other hand, the Dark Forest theory proposes an equally grim, but fundamentally different view. Here, civilizations hide in the dark forest of the universe, keeping silent to avoid attracting attention. Unlike the Berserker hypothesis, the dark forest theory doesn't assume hostility from extraterrestrial life. Instead, it suggests that civilizations are driven by self-preservation to remain quiet. The universe is not a battleground, but a hunting ground where silence is the key to survival. So. How do these theories stack up? Well, they both suggest a universe where life is scarce and survival is paramount. They both imply that our silence in the universe might be a prudent choice. But their underlying assumptions about extraterrestrial life are as different as night and day. The Berserker Hypothesis sees the universe as a hostile place, a war zone where every civilization is a potential enemy. It's a theory rooted in competition and conflict, where the only way to survive is to be the last one standing. The Dark Forest Theory, on the other hand, views the universe as a place of fear and caution. It's a universe where civilizations are not inherently hostile, but are driven by fear of the unknown. The best strategy here is not to conquer, but to hide. In essence, both theories ask the same question. Why have we not encountered extraterrestrial life? But they answer it in two very different ways. While both theories offer compelling explanations, they do so from radically different perspectives. But what do these theories mean for us, here on Earth? The implications of the Berserker Hypothesis and the Dark Forest Theory aren't just academic musings. They carry profound implications for the future of humanity. The universe may be a grand stage, but it's one where we might not want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Let's consider the Berserker Hypothesis, where self-replicating alien probes could be roaming the cosmos, programmed to destroy life-bearing planets. Suppose we announce our existence to the universe, and a Berserker is within listening range. What then? The very act of reaching out, of trying to connect, could be the trigger that ends it all. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? On the other hand, the Dark Forest Theory suggests that civilizations hide, not out of malice, but out of a deep-rooted survival instinct. It's the cosmic equivalent of a game of hide-and-seek, where being found could have disastrous consequences. If we decide to hide, we might survive. But at what cost? A life spent in fear, in silence. Is that really living? 
But it's not all doom and gloom. There's a flip side to these theories. If we can identify the potential threats, we can prepare for them. We can develop strategies and technologies that could protect us or even help us communicate safely. Moreover, these theories could inspire us to be more cautious, more strategic about our approach to extraterrestrial life. Instead of shouting our presence into the void, we might choose to listen, to observe, to learn. We might discover that we're not alone, that there's a whole universe of life out there just waiting to be found. These theories remind us that the universe is a vast and complex place filled with mysteries we are only beginning to understand. Ultimately, the silence of the cosmos remains a captivating enigma. We've journeyed into the depths of two intriguing theories, the Berserker Hypothesis and the Dark Forest Theory, each offering their own fascinating insights into the Fermi Paradox. The Berserker Hypothesis paints a chilling portrait of a universe where silence is maintained by autonomous, self-replicating machines programmed for destruction. On the other hand, the Dark Forest Theory proposes a universe where civilizations, much like animals in a dark forest, remain quiet out of fear of attracting more advanced predatory civilizations. Both theories suggest that silence in the cosmos may not be due to a lack of life, but rather a survival strategy. The cosmic silence could be a deceptive veil, hiding a universe teeming with life and complexities beyond our wildest imagination. As we continue to gaze at the stars, we are left to wonder, are we alone or simply playing a part in a cosmic game of hide and seek?